Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to easily add and organize documentation for your Divi website. Let's check it out. In order for us to add and organize documentation on our website, we are going to need this plugin called DocuPress. So head over to this URL and download the plugin. I've already downloaded the plugin, so let's dive in into our WordPress install and let's install the plugin. So we're going to come over here to our dashboard and then we're going to come over here to plugins, click on add new. Now click on upload, choose file, and then go into your downloads folder or wherever you've got that plugin downloaded to. So I'm going to click and now I'm going to go ahead and install the plugin. Okay, and then finally activate the plugin. Right, so now that it's activated, you'll notice that on the side here, we have this entry called documentation. So at this stage, it's quite tempting to go in and add your new documents. So the best way to do this is to first add collections. Think of collections as categories. This helps organize all your documentation. So let's start off by adding a collection. So I'm just going to say collection one, and then I want to add the slug, click on add new collection. So now we've got it here. So you can keep adding these as much as you want. Okay, I want to add another one. So I'm going to call this elegant themes articles, add the slug, and then I'm going to add it to my new collection. So now that we have all this set, the next thing we need to do is to now add the documentation. So let's come over here and click on add new. Let's give it a title. So we can call this article one, paste our text. So now you can come over here to collections and choose which collection you want this to go into. So I'm just going to select ET articles. So over here on the article attributes, this is quite important because you can actually order these articles in whatever order that you want. So I'm going to leave this at zero for now. I'm going to go ahead and click on publish. I'm going to come over here, add another one. We're going to call this article two, paste my text. Okay, this is going to go into ET articles as well, but now the order is going to be one. Click publish. So you can keep adding all these articles here and also choose which collection you'd like that to go into. So to display it, first of all, I need to show you where this is. So let's come over here to appearance and let's click on widgets. So now you can see that there's an entry here called DocuPress articles. So this is what we need to drag into our sidebar in order for us to show this. But now let's create a customized widget for this. So I'm going to come over here and call this DocuPress. Click on create. And then I'm just going to refresh this. So now we can see it's added here. So what you need to do next is to come over here and drag this into this widget area. So you can give this whatever name you want. So I'm just going to call this articles. Oh, I'm going to call it documentation actually like that. So you can choose how many you would, you'd like to show. So I'm just going to put three and then here you can also show the collections. So we've got ET articles showing here because that's the only collection that I've added my documentation to. Okay. Now that we have all this set, let's go ahead now and save. Now it's time to display our documentation on our website. So let's come over here to pages. Let's click on add new. Now, by the way, we're going to be using a widget for this. So you can go and add this to an existing page or you can create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to all pages and take a look at which pages we have. So I'm going to come over here to the about page, click on use the div builder. So and what I'm going to do now is to add a new module and this module is going to be sidebar. So now we have the opportunity to choose which widget that we need. So I'm going to come over here and choose DocuPress because that's the one we created earlier on. I'm going to click on save and exit, click update. And let's take a look at our page. We can see that this has been added here and we have article two and article one. So if I click on this, now it goes to that article. So now that we have this, you can actually come over here and edit the article by clicking that button. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and added more articles and I've also added them onto this collection one because previously I've only added them to ET articles. Now let's go and take a look at our about page and see if this is looking better in terms of the layout. 
So I'm going to come over here to all pages and click on about and let's view the page. So now we can see that all our six articles are now added. Now what you could also do is you can go in and style this. So I'm going to come over here to enable visual builder and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the settings and click on design. So this is where now we can go into the header text and make it bold, increase the size, and we can even change the header color like that and make it all caps. So we can change the body text size, make it slightly bigger, increase the body line height, make it bold, and we can also change the text color if we need to. Okay, but for now, I'll just leave it as it is and save. And then I'm going to save the page and also exit the Visual Builder. Okay, so now if we click on any of these, it should take us to the article. So I'm going to click it once here, and now we can see that we are entering now the documentation. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos similar to what you're seeing today. Until next time, thanks for watching. See you soon.